In today's video, we'll be doing a full comparison between Jasper AI, formerly known as Jarvis AI, and Closures Copy. Jasper AI, or Jarvis, is one of the most popular AI copywriting softwares in the market. They have thousands of five-star reviews and a very large and loyal fan base. They are definitely one of the pioneers leading the AI copywriting space. While on the other hand, Closures Copy is a fairly new AI copywriting software, but just from the first impressions, I can already tell that Closures Copy is much different than other AI copywriters. So in today's video, we're going to compare both of these AI copywriting softwares and take a look at things such as pricing, features and technology, quality of the AI output, and we'll take a look at the team and the mission behind Jasper AI and Closures Copy. Jarvis AI is seen to be a leader and an innovator in the AI copywriting space. But after taking a look at Closures Copy, there may be a worthy opponent on the rise. And stick around because at the end of the video, we're going to score both Jasper AI and Closures Copy, and I'm going to give my recommendations on which AI copywriter is the best. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing differences between Jasper AI and Closures Copy. There's two different types of plans on Jasper AI or Jarvis, and the first is the starter plan, and the second is the boss mode plan. Now, if you have the starter plan, uh, you're able to have all of the templates that are included in Jasper except the long form assistant. So that means you'll be able to write any sort of short form copy, but you wouldn't be able to create any blog post, any articles, any eBooks, or any long form copy because the long form assistant or the blog post creator isn't included in this plan. And the starter plan starts at $29 per month and you get 20,000 words within that month. So it's not unlimited, but if you do need more words then you can always uh, increase the amount of words. And as you can see for 40,000 words, that would be $50 per month. And if we go back up to 100,000 words, that is $119 per month. And again, as you um, slide this scale, the price increases each month for Jarvis. On the other hand, if you're creating long form content, then you would need to get the boss mode plan. This includes everything on the starter plan, but you get the long form assistant in which you can create long form blog posts, articles, eBooks, etc. Now this plan starts at $59 per month and for $59, you get 50,000 words for that month. And again, if you need more words for $99, you will get, I believe it should be 100,000 words. So for $100 per month, you'll be able to generate 100,000 words. And again, if you need more words, then the price would increase uh, per month. So if you're writing a lot of content, this can become a little pricey. So there is no unlimited plans that's available on Jasper AI or Jarvis. And if we head over to Closures Copy, this is the pricing that's available. So there's three different plans, and the first plan is the starter, which starts at $29.99 per month, and the professional is $50 per month, and the unlimited is $80 per month. Now, the main differences between Closures Copy and Jarvis in terms of pricing is that on all of the plans, so including the starter plan on Closures Copy, you have the long form available. So that means you can write long form content even on the starter plan with Closures Copy. And also in the starter plan for Closures Copy, you're able to run 45,000 words, which is pretty good for the price of $29.99 per month. And another major difference is that on Closures Copy, there's an unlimited plan. So that means for $80 per month, you can have unlimited runs and unlimited copy. So that's a really, really good pricing. And again, if we compare that to Jarvis, for $60 per month, you have 50,000 words included. So for $80 per month for unlimited runs, I would have to say Closures Copy is definitely the better option when it comes to price and plans. Now, we all know that pricing shouldn't be the only factor as to why you choose an AI copywriter over another. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features, the quality, and the team behind Jarvis AI and Closures Copy. So firstly, let's take a look at the features and the integrations that's included in Jarvis and in Closures Copy. If you've used a couple AI copywriters or done as much reviews as I have, you usually see the same templates and integrations 
in most AI copywriters. And most of the times you would only use a handful of these templates that are available in most of these AI copywriters. And if we compare Jarvis's templates to Closure's copies frameworks, you could see that they're pretty similar. You have most of the templates and the frameworks that you would need for blogs, for SEO, for landing pages, for stories, for reviews, and for product descriptions. And on Jarvis, you can find most of these templates as well. So I would say that they're pretty evenly matched in terms of templates and frameworks that you can use um, to write uh, content for different scenarios. But the main difference that I found within these two AI copywriters is that within Closer's copy, you have a lot more features and integrations. And these features and integrations aren't what you would typically see in other AI content writers. So the first integration is the compete function. And essentially what this does is, is that if you're writing a blog post, even before you start to write that blog post, you can do your research right from the closures copy dashboard. All you would have to do is search up the keyword in which you're writing about. And then the AI will then pull all of the top ranking blogs and give you some really, really important metrics that you can use to help you optimize your blog post. So as you can see, you'd be able to see all of the top ranking blogs on the first page of Google for that keyword. And then you get a breakdown of their actual blog post. So you'd be able to see all their subtopics, all of the points that they included, all of the questions that they included and any sort of related content that was included. And this is for all of the top ranking pages on the first page of Google. So you can go through all of these and you'll be able to see some really good ideas of what you need to include in your blog post. And if you keep on scrolling, again, you'll see more and more ideas, more and more competitor analysis for that keyword. Now you're also able to see questions that were asked in all of the top ranking blogs, stats that were included in the top ranking blogs. And if you head over to the optimize section, you'd be able to see how many characters, words, paragraphs, sentences, and images the average blog post has that's ranking on Google. So this would be a great benchmark for you to take a look at to see how many words, how many images, how many paragraphs you need to include in your blog post to increase the chances that you rank higher on Google. And you'd also be able to get some really good information on keywords. So you can see the amount of times a keyword is used within the top ranking blog post. So you can um, then look at how many times you include that keyword and increase or decrease it depending on the numbers that you get. So. So this is some really important and useful information that you get um, to help you optimize your blog post right in the Closures Copy Dashboard. Now on Jarvis or Jasper as it's called now, you do have the ability to have that feature. If you head over to the SEO mode, this will connect directly with Surfer SEO. Now Surfer SEO is a tool in which you can use to help you optimize your blog post. So essentially you just search up the keyword in which you're writing about and then you'll get some really important metrics and you'll get some ideas of things that you can do to optimize your blog posts to help you increase the chances that you rank higher on Google. But the main difference is, is that this is just an integration with Surfer SEO. You would still need to get a Surfer SEO account in order to do your SEO optimizing. And while Surfer SEO is a great tool to help you optimize your content, you would have to get another plan. So that would be an additional $49, $99 or $199, just depending on how many blog posts you're actually optimizing. But on Closures Copy, this is included in all of the plans. So even on the starter plan, you have the compete function. And this feature is what really sets Closures Copy apart from other AI copywriters. There's no other AI copywriter that I know right now that has this feature included for such a low monthly price. And also on Closures Copy, you have the ability to change the AI model. So if I was writing any sort of sales copy, such as a sales page and ads and so on, I can use the sales AI model. If I was writing a story, then I can change the model to the story AI. So again, this is a nice little feature and integration that's included in Closer's copy that I do not see on Jarvis AI. And because of the sheer power and usefulness of the compete functions and the ability to change your AI models, I would have to give features and integrations to Closures Copy. Now let's go ahead and do a comparison and test the quality of output that we get from Jarvis AI or Jasper compared to Closures Copy. 
And we'll do this by creating a long form blog post. So for this blog post, we'll be writing about index funds. So let's go ahead and start to get a intro paragraph from both Closer's copy and from Jarvis AI. So I'm going to head over to the power mode in Jarvis and head over to the template, which is the blog post intro. So I've pasted the title in which we're writing about, and then I'm going to generate AI content and I'm going to do the same thing over in Closure's copy. So I'm going to head to frameworks and we have the blog intro framework right here. I'm going to open that and then I'm going to paste what our blog post is about. And I'm going to leave the creative to 73. Now, another cool feature that you have that's included in Closure's copy is the ability to change your creativity and your length. So you can change how long you want your content to be or how short you want your content to be. And you can also change how creative you want the content to be. And we're going to be generating an intro paragraph. So I've already described the content and I'm gonna hit write for me. So these are the outputs that we got from Jarvis AI. It talks about what index funds are, why they are important, and some advantages and disadvantages of using index funds. So right off the bat, um, I could see that we get some more longer content here from Jarvis. If I head back over to Closer's copy, as you can see, the content is a little bit shorter, so maybe you can increase that um, in your customization tabs. But also I find the content wasn't as good as what I got from Jarvis AI. So if I look at Jarvis, I can see that the content just has a little bit more depth to it. So for instance, in this intro output, it talks about the advantages, the disadvantages, what index funds are. And these outputs all do a very good job at setting up the blog post. So I would say that for the blog post introduction paragraph, we got some better content from Jarvis. And if I compare that to Closer's copy, the content wasn't that bad. For instance, this output talks about what index funds are, why they're important. And if I scroll down even some more, I get some content here about index funds. Now this is really good content that I can definitely use in my blog post, but it wasn't really an introduction. So that's why I would have to say that we got better content and more relevant content from Jarvis AI. So now that we have an intro paragraph, let's go ahead and try to get an outline done. Now in Jarvis, all we need to do is head over to the blog post outline, paste in the description of our title or topic and hit generate AI content. And on Closer's copy, we head over to Frameworks and Blog Post Outline. And again, I'm going to describe and I'm going to describe our blog post and I'm going to hit Write for Me. And one more distinction that I found between Jarvis and Closer's copy is the time that it takes to get output. I do find that the AI is a lot quicker in Jarvis or Jasper compared to Closer's copy. And I think that's just because the AI in Closer's copy isn't as advanced as you would find as the AI is in Jarvis. So these are the outputs that we got from Closure's copy. So the first one is actually not bad. It talks about what are index funds, advantages and disadvantages, how to invest in index funds. Is it the right time or is it right for me to invest in index funds? I think that's a really good question. And then it ends off by asking which index fund is better to invest in. So that's pretty good. And if I scroll down, I can see some really good outputs here from Closure's copy but it does go a little bit off track and it starts to talk about insurance brokers and then it talks about credit cards here and i think that's just because the ai um, just isn't as advanced right now um, so it goes off um, a little bit but that's to be expected especially if it's a newer ai copywriter now if i head back over to jarvis as you can see we get a bunch of different outputs here but the main difference is that instead of just giving us an outline, we actually get a little bit of content in which we can work with. So it actually talks about what are index, index funds here. And then it actually answers the question uh, in regards to advantages and disadvantages. So I do think that this is good content, but I don't really think that it's much of an outline. But the second output is pretty good. Um, it talks about what index funds are, the benefits, when to invest, and how to invest and the risk involved. So I would say a pretty comparable content from Jarvis AI and from Closer's copy. Let's go ahead and do one more comparison and see what sort of content we get for the subtopic of how to invest in an index fund. Now, I wanna make a quick disclaimer before we move on. It's difficult to judge the overall quality of an AI copywriter based on a couple outputs. 
every AI is a little different. And just depending on the content that you're writing, you may get better AI content from one copywriter compared to the other. And also the age of the AI copywriter plays a factor because if an AI has been out a lot longer, it's more advanced, it knows more words, so it will give you better content. So just keep that in mind when we're going over the quality and the outputs that we're getting from these various AI copywriters. So this is the content that we got from Jarvis AI in terms of investing in an index fund. So they talk about a couple ways to invest in index funds. Um, they have a couple different options here, such as T-I-A-A-C-R-E-F or Fidelity. And then it talks about why index funds are a great choice for beginners and experienced investors alike. So all I did was updated the context and click the right for me. And this is the content that we got. If we read through this paragraph, it's not bad at all, right? There's some good content in here. It talks about the difference between a large cap and a small cap index funds. And it talks about the differences about other index funds. So, so in terms of our title, which is how to invest in an index fund as a beginner, it talks about the first thing that you need to know is what type of index fund that you want to invest in. And then it talks about different index funds such as a large cap and a small cap and so on and so forth. So this is pretty good. Um, and then it gets into the best index funds to invest in as a beginner. And one thing that I like about Closer's Copy is that it does give us content right on our document, but actually on the right hand side as well, we can see more content. So if we read through here and we find something that we like, we can go ahead and copy that and paste it over into any of the sections on our website. And that's kind of how you have to use Closure's Copy. It's not as linear and as targeted as Jarvis AI is. Like for instance, I just generated this content all here and it gave me pretty decent content. You have to run the AI copywriter and then go through all of the content because it will give you a lot of content and then choose whichever one you like the best <clears throat> and then put it in the places on your blog post that works the best. So if I were comparing Jasper AI or Jarvis, to close your copy in terms of quality of the output, I would have to give it to Jarvis AI. And if we had to compare ease of use or how beginner friendly Jarvis AI is compared to close your copy, I would again have to give it to Jarvis. And the reason is it's very easy to use. All I have to do is put my content, click right for me, and I get some pretty good content. But again, I would highly recommend that you go out and you use both of these AI copywriters yourself depending on the content that you're writing, you may get different results than I got. So to summarize, if you're looking for an all-in-one AI copywriter and you would like to save some money each month, then I would highly recommend Closer's Copy. But just keep in mind that there is a little bit of a learning curve and you do need to spend some time with the software to really get used to getting high quality content. But if you have a bigger budget and a team of content writers, then I would recommend going ahead with Jasper AI. But just keep in mind that the more that you write, the more that you'll have to pay when using Jasper AI. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have some more clarity between Closure's Copy and Jasper AI. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until next time, stay well.